everyone. Welcome back to my home. My name is Lynn Wilson. I'm glad you're here. And yes, did you see it? Did you see my mess? Let's get real with each other. I have a pile. I have more than one pile, but I'm staring at this mess. These are either things that I have shown you from Dollar Tree hauls or other hauls that I need to put away or things that I'm about to show you now. Lots of projects as well as I have what's up and coming. I have vacation Bible school at church. So that's coming up the end of June. So I have a pile for that. I have stuff for my shop that I'm putting together for um, kits, spa kits that I'm putting together. So I have a pile of that. We are reorganizing our home office. So I have piles of that stuff that I have to go through. And I don't even know what else is there. But those are the things you do when you work full time. You just pile it up until you have a day off like today and you get your job done. And then you saw all the flowers outside. I did a big haul from joanne.com. Not a big haul, but big haul in terms of expense, but not so much stuff. But anyway, I'm coming up with ideas for that. So you got to see those things. I'm gonna be working on that. So speaking of that, I wanted to show you something. I can't remember if I showed you this on a haul or not, but I'm gonna show you again, just in case. So picked up a laundry basket, Dollar Tree, one dollar okay good size not for laundry this is for my tomato plants so then on amazon i picked this up i think i did show you this to you guys there is the end of it it's like a big zip tie i don't know what the fabric is it's it feels sort of like a polyester maybe i don't know but you're we're going to be putting some plants together so you basically take this end where is it this end here and you're gonna stick it in your basket and then you're gonna pull this around the basket and then you're gonna have your inside there. You're gonna fill it with dirt and fill it with your plant and we're gonna be doing that shortly. And I picked up, I think I have four. Did we get four of these, Graham? I think there were four of these. I'll leave the link in the description below in case you're interested. I saw this on Homestead Tessie and um, I have some tomato plants. I'll have to show you what I got. I think I got two tomato plants, I think a zucchini, a cucumber, a red pepper, a green pepper, parsley, and rosemary. I'm not doing a lot this year, keeping my garden very simple, doing container gardening only, except for my rosemary I'm planting in the ground because I, I believe, first time I'm doing this, I think it turns into a bush and comes back every year, and I use that for my homemade potpourri in the fall and pumpkins. I'll be planting pumpkins in the ground, not in containers. So that'll be the only thing in the ground. Our garden is a disaster. We need to get out there. My goal is to have everything set and ready and beautified by Memorial Day weekend. So we'll see what happens. So stay tuned for this. I will show you what we're doing in the garden. So I do have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Just a few things, uh, not too much. And I will include some pictures right here and let you see what they look like. Okay, so you saw those pictures and I wanted you to see Dollar Tree does sell brand name things like Barilla Pasta, which is my favorite. And um, they had the angel hair. They did not have regular spaghetti, but angel hair is a favorite of my husband's. And what my husband wants, my husband gets. So I got some angel hair pasta and they had gluten-free pasta, which I have never seen that there before. And what was the other one they had? I don't remember, but you saw it on the on the video. So they have options for you with pasta. I think it's great, it's Barilla. And then I thought it was interesting they had, I was just talking with a friend of mine that I enjoy seaweed. I had the first taste of seaweed in fourth grade. My teacher was always about teaching us cultural things. And when we would study the continent, we would learn about the countries in that continent and we would taste foods or like raw um, raw coconut, I remember it, and touching my first real coconut. And one thing she had us try was seaweed and I really liked it. And I've gotten seaweed crackers before. Well, here you go, snacks at the Dollar Tree, 
made with seaweed. So you got to see a picture of that. And I just thought that oven mitt with the blue car on it. I am so hooked on these trucks, not the car, the trucks. I am hooked. And um, I didn't get it, but I really liked it. Bloom where you're planted and it was the blue truck. So of course, what did I have to get is these. I thought these were adorable. So there is the red truck and there is the blue truck. And I really like the blue truck as well, but I like the combination and my front porch is gonna be red, white, and blue. And, you know, very patriotic. And I like doing things patriotic. I'm a patriotic girl. I love saluting the flag. I love America, the beautiful, all the songs. I love it. I'm an American. I'm proud of it. And I don't want to ever forget the freedoms that we have. And things like this just bring me back to, you know, that spot in my heart of loving America. So we're going to be putting this in some of my planters. So what else did I get at the Dollar Tree? Well, let's see. Okay. Very small haul. Very practical. Baker's Choice. Eight hamburger buns. They're a dollar. They're extremely soft. I like those. Normally I go to like all these and get them for 66 cents a package or maybe 84 cents. These were a dollar. Still a great deal. And we needed some. I found these trays. You saw the hot dog ones that I got the other day. Look at this. Is this not adorable? It's got all the Americana on it. The star, USA, sweet land of Liberty. The red truck is over here. 4th of July is here, home of the brave, and so I don't know what I'm going to use these for. They're eight paper trays, and my husband and I were just talking about redoing our menu planning, and we usually try and do a barbecue every Sunday night, so I'm thinking eight, no, six and six, so there's three of us, so this is, what, uh, four four Sundays, so a month of Sundays, and then everybody, my husband and myself, put our hamburger and our hot dog in here and our chips and whatever. And we talked about this on one of my other videos that like make it fun for the family, make it enjoyable. So what did this cost me? You know, 50 cents a meal for the plates. Put your food in here. Somehow it tastes better. It puts a smile on the family's face and then you don't have to do the dishes. So it's a good thing. Okay, what else did I get? I picked these up. These are three for a dollar. So they're just plain white and they're just little trays, nothing, you know, too fancy. I could spray paint these if I wanted to, but I think I'm going to go with them plain white. And here's my idea. I have been toying with doing a spa gift set. I was selling um, milk foot soaks on our Facebook group that I have with my sisters. And I sold out what I had and I've gifted many people with them and they love it. But it's getting a little old. I wanna do something different. And I have been struggling with how to put it together. I had ideas, how to package it and so on. So I thought, I, I saw one of these sitting off to the side at work and I was, oh, idea, light bulb went off. I can put each item in here and then I'm going to wrap it up and gift wrap it really nice. So if somebody buys a gift set, they will get it in here with each item enclosed, nicely decorated, all wrapped up as a gift set. So that'll be on the shop coming in the next up and coming week. So you can check that out if you're a member. If you're not a member, there is a link in the description below on how to find us on Facebook. And then I picked these up for work. Just some cough drops, cherry flavored, and the vitamin C. I don't know, have you guys ever used these vitamin Cs? I love them. So allergy season is upon us. And, um, oh, you know what? I gotta show you some of this pollen. So hang on for one minute. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, see all that pollen, that yellow? Do you guys have that by you? I feel like I never heard of it till I moved to this area. I've grown up in New Jersey my entire life, but not until I came to the Pine Barren area do we have tree pollen. It's on everything. When you walk outside and you look and you can't see in front of you because it looks like there's a fog, it's not a fog, it's pollen in the air. It is so thick. And if it gets like on your surface of your deck and you go to walk, you're, you're sliding almost as if you're on ice. It's that 
fine and gritty, but it's on everything. And then, and then it gets in your throat. My eyes are itching. They feel like sandpaper. This is the best stuff for that tickle in your throat, even if you have a cold or, you know, whatever. So I got those for work. Got these for work. I like to keep things, you know, I'm like the mom of the office. I ha You need tissues, come to Lynn's desk. You need a treat, you come to Lynn's desk. You need a cough drop, come to Lynn's desk. Then my son only likes Crest toothpaste. So Dollar Tree, one dollar. Picked up a couple of those for the stockpile. This is what I love, the Pons. I've gone through this, I love this. My skin is soft, it's clean, I love it. Doesn't burn my eyes, doesn't leave like a film on your eyes. Um, Clear Solutions by Pons. Love it. Picked one up. I just ran out of my other one. And I had to use my old face cleanser, which I used to love until I switched to this. So I had to go get another one. Okay, another blue truck. Look at that. This one, this one says welcome. So the red truck, I didn't take a picture of it, but the red truck up here said America. And I didn't want just America. I wanted the blue. I got the I wanted the red truck, but I wanted the welcome sign. So I went with this one instead. Finally, finally, in my area, a mini uh, mock version of the Happy Planner. I never get this stuff in my area. And let me see if I can, I don't wanna undo this just yet. Let me see if I can slide this off. Now I'm gonna end up having to cut that, but I don't wanna do that just yet. It has a seal on it, but it has the four rings. It's got the plastic and it has this one has orange paper that's lined and it's just sort of a muddled rainbowed look. I never see this. I was looking also hoping they would, they had these on a, like where you get the um, washi tape and those type of strips. They had these hanging from there. They had three or four different styles. I know everybody has hauled these for months. I finally see them in ours. Okay, just a couple of other things. So I picked this up. It looks like a piece of wood and it's on this stand. Can you see that stand? It's got the legs here. And I saw somebody actually take this off and just use the stand for something else. I liked the idea of what she did. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I like the idea of a freestanding stand that I could put something on. I could paint this and I could turn that into something else. I don't know. I got ideas. So I'm going to hang on to that and see what I'm going to do with that. <coughs> I think I need one of those vitamin C's. Then I picked up two placemats and they're just black and white and they're different than the normal placemat. They're very, very soft, you know, very, very soft. They're plastic. They're not fabric. They look like fabric, don't they? And it's very simplistic. On top of my chest freezer in my kitchen, we use that as a staging area. I put like dishes out, lining them up for dinner and I'll serve dinner at there or uh, sometimes I do our food hauls on there. I just use it as an extra counter. I don't have a lot of counter space in my kitchen so I have to use what I have and I have the freezer. But I put, I had glued two placemats down on there and they have like a coffee theme on it. Well, probably two years ago now, and they're just kind of getting, you know, beat up looking. So I wanted to switch it out, but I wanted to go something very simple. So that's what I'm going to use those for. And then, yes, like I mentioned, I picked up two boxes of the Angel Hair Pasta. There we go, from Barilla. If you are a, I'm a bit of a pasta snob, and I like Barilla because it doesn't get sticky. You do not, I have to rinse my spaghetti, any pasta. I don't like that film on it. I know the sauce holds better and I rinse my pasta. But the Barilla, I find you don't have to rinse it. It holds up well. It's just a good pasta, pasta. So I got two of the angel hair and that'll probably be on next week's menu. Not that we need pasta, we have plenty, but we didn't have any angel hair and I wanted to get that. So, okay. That's the Dollar Tree haul. You've seen my mess. You've seen my mess with my flowers. We gotta go do some planting. So hang on there with me and then I'll bring you out and show you what I got at the um, farm market yesterday called Moore's. 
and I'll show you the plants that I got. I'll show you how we're going to put them in this laundry basket and I don't know what else we'll have. So hang on tight. We'll see what we got. So I knew that we would need something for dinner. And while we went out and did the gardening, I threw this in the crock pot. So I chopped up a head of cabbage that I had in the fridge and I peeled some potatoes, added that, peeled some carrots and cut them up and had some nice root vegetables in the bottom of the crock pot. And if you saw my food haul from Stop and Shop the other night, I picked up a smoke butt, which is for me, very nostalgic, something I grew up on. So I, it comes in like a casing. So you'll see that later on in the video, but I nestled that inside of the root vegetables, put the lid on it, turned it on high, added a little water, and then you'll see how delicious it looks once I cut open the casing in the crock pot and then served it up. And we have plenty of food for several, whether I have dinners and or lunches, we have plenty left over. So our dog loves the outside like most dogs do, and he had to just sit and enjoy the sunshine and look at the pollen on the deck. It's just horrible. So we grabbed one of these white bags, placed it over the laundry basket, and you can see what it looks like empty. And then we put some water bottles, empty ones in the bottom, just to bulk it up so we didn't need as much dirt. And then my husband filled up the, um, white netting with the dirt. We then planted in that our tomato plants and I put four plants in there, but I probably, as they grow, will have to repot some of them. And it looked great. It was, I, I loved it. So we have four more of those or three more of those that we have to put together with the rest of the vegetables. And then we grabbed another large planter and in that we put some bricks so it wouldn't blow around in the wind and a water bottle water container as you can see added more dirt to that and then we put some silk flowers that we know the deer will not eat and it was amazing when i posted this on my facebook my personal one people kept saying i did such a beautiful garden little did they know this was just silk flowers <music> 